Hoy nos damos cita en el edificio de Park Avenue Armory para visitar la feria iPad Photography Show que desde el año 1980 nos trae las piezas más icónicas de la fotografía mundial. Acompáñame a disfrutar de este show. with a very iconic uh, capel in the art world, right? Which is the background of the photographer who was able to do this portrait. And this photograph of Frida sitting in front of her painting, uh, Frida and uh, the two parrots, there um, is Nicholas Murray. Nicholas Murray was one of her lovers and he is the photographer as well, so it's a self-portrait. most important portraits of the 19th century. Um, it's a photograph of uh, Isamabar Kingdom Brunel, who was a civil engineer, and um, one of his most important feats was uh, building the Great Eastern, which was the largest steamship ever created at the time. So Howlett was commissioned by a London newspaper to document the construction of the ship. And um, so he had Brunel, the, the engineer, stand before the launching chains of the ship. And it's just a very iconic portrait of the 19th century, um, partially because it was somewhat unusual to have an outdoor portrait like this. Yes. And also just um, sort of the, the human versus the industrial chains. It's a very graphic image. First of all, this picture and I were born the same year, 1948, <laughs> and uh, and this is a uh, like a toy uh, manufacturer uh, in Peru, and Robert Frank, who's known for his work uh, in, in America on the book The Americans, this was before that book. Uh, that book was done in 1955 to 1956, and this was done, as I just said, in 48. And so he had just come over from Switzerland and he was uh, eager to see primitive places which were not Swiss. And there's nothing more un-Swiss apparently than Peru. And the uh, image is actually of his son, uh, Pablo, uh, who's going perfectly through this door as if it was framed on his way out of the shop because probably his father was taking too long to make the photograph and he got bored. Uh, and it's just a wonderful moment. It's the idea of the boy's legs and arms going through the door and then the legs and arms of the dolls that are over here and, and how they kind of work together. These prints are from the series, the map, in 2019. 65, which is uh, 10 years after the atomic bomb happened in Hiroshima. And he found the stains in the memorial dome in Hiroshima. It awakened a lot of discussion, right? And it's present on most of the, the books that talk about the 20th century photography. There's a community in the northern section of Brazil that, uh, for reasons that aren't quite clear, has become a, a very large community of albinos. Now, for anybody who knows about albinism, it's a it's a pigment um, it's a pigment issue, and so they, the blindness is very much uh, part of the condition, uh, which you can see uh, in in this in this in this one where he he's starting to go cross-eyed, and so. Gustavo met uh, a, a couple of folks and really just wanted to bring a sense of beauty to their lives because um, albinos are sometimes treated poorly. This is a Man Ray photograph from 1960. It's a photogram. 
he started doing this type of work in 1921. So this would be a piece done later in his career. It's a cameraless image. We like it because it has a very uh, otherworldly type of look. It looks somewhat like the heavens. Whereas this little man right here was done at the flea market in Paris in 1930. And he sent this picture to a friend of his. There's a letter on the back of the photograph. And he called the picture Two Dressed Fleas. From the Marseille, Marseille de Pousse in Paris. Uh, and we think that between the two of them, it gives an interesting idea of the range yeah. of Man Ray's creativity. Y así terminamos nuestra visita por el mundo de la fotografía. Te vuelvo a ver el próximo jueves y no olvides suscribirte a Cosmoarte TV. Chao, chao.